Server technology makes power distribution equipment and monitoring solutions for the data center market. Welcome to Server Technologies Power Expert Theater. This is Linda with Server Technology, and I'm your host for our topic, Take a New Look at Three-Phase Power Distribution. Power expertise and the technical content for this video were provided by Server Technologies Engineering Team. Thank you, guys. About the Power Expert Theater, you're in the right place. This is where you get the scoop about important data center topics, convenient and ready for you anytime you want to kick back, listen and learn something new and interesting about your dynamic power industry. Server technology is here to give you the winning advantage every day in your data center. Let's get started with three-phase power at the data center rack and specifically alternating phase rack power distribution units, one of many specialty power solutions from server technology. First, take a look at the most common 208 volt three-phase power receptacles that you'll find in data centers, and you're probably familiar with them. And these, the most common 415 volt three-phase power receptacles you'll find in U.S. data centers. Now let's move to the PDUs. This illustration shows that a conventional three-phase rack PDU has its outlets grouped by phase or phase pair in three to six distinct locations along the length of the PDU. In contrast, meet the star of this video, an alternating phase rack PDU, where the phase of the outlets alternates every outlet. So why would you want to use an alternating phase rack PDU instead of a conventional PDU? The key benefits are simplified cable management and load balancing. You'll end up having shorter cable runs, which result in better airflow, less heat, and a net improvement PUE. Not bad, huh? A little background. You might know the term load balancing goes back to the mechanical generator, like the one shown here a heavy piece of rotating machinery riding on bearings. It's obvious that the mechanical loading on these bearings must be balanced because unbalanced loads accelerate wear and result in inefficient power generation. Drawing unequal amounts of power from a three-phase generator creates a mechanically unbalanced system. So that's the same importance that load balancing takes on in your data center. Running unbalanced loads in the data center results in excess heat in the power cables in unwanted harmonics. In addition, you may get a fine from the utility company if you aren't drawing equally from the three phases. Alternating phase PDUs do cost more, and there's no advantage in paying more if you really don't need this type of PDU. So when don't you need an alternating phase PDU? For example, if an equipment rack is fully populated at initial deployment and all equipment has equal power requirements, a conventional PDU is probably right for you. As you can see here, with a fully populated rack of similar equipment at initial deployment, the resulting cabling is relatively efficient. Okay, so when is an alternating phase PDU right for you? When the initial deployment is not a fully populated rack. For example, the rack shown here was initially deployed with the bottom third populated with servers. The switches are at the top of the rack, and the middle of the rack is empty. Plus, when using a conventional PDU, the initial cabling requires two to three different lengths of cable to achieve a balanced load. Over time, as more equipment is added, the cabling can become very messy, with lots of cable crisscrossing and different cord lengths in use, because as each device is added, it has to be connected to the phase that is out of balance. And it gets worse. An installation like this can cause airflow disruption, reducing cooling efficiency, and raising power usage effectiveness, or PUE. Well, not a good place to be with a conventional PDU. Now, let's set up the same rack with an alternating phase PDU, like Server Technologies' popular high-density outlet technology, or HDOT, and watch what happens with this type of PDU. Remember in our example, there was initial deployment of only a third of the rack at the bottom? With the alternating phase PDU shown here, the rack can achieve balanced loads with shorter cables. As equipment is added, you just need to cable across to the nearest outlet on the PDU with a short cable. And there you have it, 
load balancing occurs almost automatically. In this comparison between the alternating phase PDU on the left and the conventional PDU on the right, you can easily see from the cable layouts how the alternating phase PDU is a much better choice for efficient cabling. Here we have another scenario where an alternating phase PDU is an advantage over a conventional PDU. Say you have high power equipment centralized in one part of the rack, like equipment residing at the bottom of the rack, and the equipment requires six C19 outlets on the PDU. In a conventional PDU, those six outlets are spread up and down the full length of the PDU. So you try to balance the loads. You need three different lengths of cords to attach the equipment to the PDU. As you know, high power C19, C20 cords are heavy gauge, have a poor bend radius, and are expensive. The extra cost of those longer cords can really add up fast across hundreds of racks. Ah, but in an alternating phase PDU, all three phases of the C19 outlets are available in two different groups on the PDU. This allows the high power equipment to be connected with shorter cords and still achieve load balancing. Check out these cables. The alternating phase PDU on the left is clearly a more efficient installation than the conventional PDU on the right. Here's a closer look at real life photos of fully populated racks. Does the cabling on the right look all too familiar? Here you see the cables on the conventional PDU on the right running up and down the rack requiring multiple cable lengths, which can disrupt the airflow. As equipment is added to this rack over time, the cabling becomes more disorganized and chaotic, leading to reduced airflow and higher power usage effectiveness, or PUE. Not good. On the left, the alternating phase PDU supplies the equipment with uniform length cords running straight across to the equipment, and good airflow. Which rack would you rather have in your data center? As we wrap up, remember that server technologies H.PDUs with alternating phase provide simple cable management, shorter cable runs, better airflow, less heat, simple load balancing, and better power efficiency all around. Does it get any better than that? Oh wait, an H.PDU with alternating phase does get even better with server technologies H.CX PDU where the C19 outlets are replaced with the new CX Universal Outlet, an innovative and fully rated outlet design that accepts either a C14 or C20 plug for ultimate C13, C19 outlet flexibility. So bring on any new equipment changes in the rack for fast, on-the-run swap-outs. And keep it efficient. H. -dot and H. -dot CX with alternating phase will see to that. So what's next? Go to servertech.com and choose the Build Your Own PDU option, which encourages you to, well, build your own PDU with many custom selections for H.0 and H.CX PDUs, as well as our most popular PDUs with standard configurations, all presented in an easy and fun experience. In just a few easy steps, you move through options for product family, power, plug type, outlets, color, and more, and then arrive at the image of the PDU you just built to get your own customized data sheet and quote. Give it a try and build your own alternating phase PDU. We appreciate your time with us to listen and learn. Check out our other product videos that provide future-proof solutions for your data center from the power experts you trust at Server Technology. If you have questions or comments about this video, just let us know. Looking forward to visiting with you again at the next Power Expert Theater. Bye for now. If you have questions, we are ready to assist you at servertech.com slash support. Stay powered. Be supported. Get ahead. Server Technology, your power strategy experts.